Hi, Gemini, Narai here. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to do a reading for you for Gemini, uh, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South node. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest. Know to take what fits and leave the rest. Spirit, what messages do we have for Gemini? Please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Gemini, please and thank you. What is not for you, maybe for someone else. And this is not a personal reading. Message for Gemini, please and thank you. I didn't see it. I did see that one. Mm. Oh, gosh. All right. This is going to be quick. <laughs> so the first card I pull is the sun card, which has to do with your happiness. It's the happiest card in the deck. It's the brightest card in the deck. But this has to be with you and your happiness. I think this is more about you taking responsibility for your happiness. Um, I feel a lot of you are happy because you're getting your confidence back in regards to something that may have occurred in your life that kind of had a dark cloud over you at some, for some time. Um, and then I have this the Queen of Wands. This is the social butterfly this is my stella or stan got their groove back card this is somebody that has their confidence back is getting out and meeting people or going online and meeting people um, people are noticing this person um, if this is you people are noticing you people are being drawn to you i'm kind of like getting in my mind that like you can see somebody in the store and ask them a question about a product that they're looking at uh, or food and ask them if they've, if they've purchased it before and you and this person are standing there having a full-blown conversation that started off about one thing and led into something else and this person is spilling all the, pe the beans and telling you all the chisme about their life. But I feel like you're happy, but you're comfortable by yourself if you're not in a romantic relationship. Um, yeah, you had a situation that had you having a sleepless night. So that dark cloud I mentioned earlier, that did happen. I think you guys were in hermit mode. You're out of hermit mode now. I'm saying hermit mode. I think you were in hermit mode. You are out of hermit mode now. I say that because she's sitting there with the cat. But this is the Hierophant <laughs> hermit mode. Um, with the Hierophant, I think that maybe some of you are realizing that you don't want a traditional relationship. Or maybe the reason that things were dark for you is because you were involved with somebody that didn't have the same morals and values that you had. I have the Empress card. This is marriage material. You may have thought somebody was marriage material or you, your marriage material and this person just didn't want the same thing. But I feel like you guys are very nurturing. You're nurturing yourselves. You're taking care of your responsibilities. Trying to be there for the people in your lives. Um, in your life. Uh, that may need you. There may be some ideas that you're planting and giving birth to. But I see this is somebody beautiful, somebody kind, somebody successful. I have the tower card. So something happened, but something happened. Um, something fell apart so that something better could come along. Either something better could come along or something stronger could come from it. And then I have the High Priestess. This is about you guys trusting your intuition. Trusting your intuition, listening to that inner knowing. And 
And then I have the Three of Wands. This is about you guys seeing what else is out there. Um, this is about planning and taking action. Some of you may have dealt with a Capricorn or somebody that you thought was toxic. I think now when you get involved with people, and I'm not saying all Capricorns are toxic, this card can come out to represent any sign. This is just happens to be the card associated with Capricorn. But it, um, it represents a lot of things, um, one of them being obsession. Um, I think now when you go into relationships, you're going to have a plan as far as what to look out for. Or when you're dealing with people, this doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship. And you're going to know when to walk away. You're going to know what doesn't serve you when you're being led, strung along, played with. And you're going to know when to walk away with the Eight of Cups. I'm going to leave you with that, Gemini. I'm going to leave you with that. Am I? Oh. So. Oh, wow. This is like full circle. This is also about walking away when you're dealing with toxicity. And the funny thing, after that is the Four of Wands, the Stability card, the Reason to Celebrate card, and the Marriage card. I feel like some of you wanted marriage with somebody that was not on the same page as you and that that didn't work out. You had sleepless nights, things fell apart. And that now you have to trust your intuition and have a plan. And when somebody's toxic or things are not working out, because um, your time is valuable too, you will know when to walk away from someone. And what that will do is that will get you closer to someone else that is in alignment with you that is going to want marriage and help you have a, st a stable relationship, whether there's marriage involved or not, because every Gemini does not necessarily want marriage. But that is what I have for you. Now the reading is over. So I thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing, and I love you. And until next time, bye.